beta-2 receptors. To learn beta-2 receptors, we need to review the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. In the sympathetic system, your natural response is either to fight or flight, or the opposite will occur, and that would be to rest and digest. In the sympathetic nervous system, we have the following neurotransmitters, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. The receptors, alpha-1 and alpha-2, beta-1 and beta-2. So let's focus on the beta-2 receptor. If you come across a snake, your eyes will get big, your pupil will dilate, bronchodilation occurs, your airways open up, and there's a decrease in respiratory secretions. Your heart rate goes up, and your cardiac output as well. Beta-2 receptors are found in the lungs, and when it is stimulated, the effect is vasodilation. And the easiest way to remember that beta-2 receptors are found in the lungs is that you have two lungs. When the beta-2 receptor is stimulated, the trachea and the bronchioles will relax and the arterioles will vasodilate. This is very useful in the treatment of asthma and COPD. So we have designed drugs to target the beta-2 receptors and we call them beta-2 agonists because we do want that vasodilation in asthma and COPD rather than vasoconstriction. The easiest way to remember what an agonist does is that it's an activator or stimulator. So an agonist means activate or stimulate a receptor. Subscribe to learn more. Videos will be uploaded weekly. It'll cover all topics found in your pharmacology textbook. And I have separate videos going over the specific receptors, the most common receptors, and most common neurotransmitters that are used in medications. And this will help you study and learn your drugs very quickly. You'll learn the basic concepts, and the videos are really short. So I hope you subscribe, and thanks for watching.